Hi everyone, my name is Maria Shandorova. I am responsible for product development at Infinity. And in this Technical Tuesday video, I will show you one great new feature that has been added to Infinity Forms in the latest release. Infinity Forms 8.0 brings you the server side extension capabilities. During the installation, there is one new window here that's linked to this server side extension functionality. As you can see, you can move forward even without allowing the server side extension functionality on your server. But if you want, it can be done automatically during the installation. You just need to check this option, enable forms SSA and create a new analytic connection in the QMC. And also what's recommended is to restart the ClickSense engine after the new analytic connection is created. Upgrading to new version is the very same as installing the new Infinity Forms. So these windows are the same. And when it's done, we can finish. Let's go to the click and the yeah, because the engine has been restarted. It uh, wants me to refresh the browser. So what has been done? Because I checked this option to create new analytic connection, I can see here in the QMC that the new analytic connection for forms has been created. This analytic connection will allow me to update data directly in the ClickSense native visualization after I save the data within the Redback table without any reload of the application. Let me show you how it can be done. Let's try it in this support tickets demo app. What we have here is a Redback editable table that allows me to save my inputs directly from the ClickSense sheet to a data source. Let's create a copy of this table so we can very simply convert it to click native table. And as I can see right now in this click native table, I have only non-editable fields from this object because these other fields, customer, ticket name, priority, and so on, are editable and therefore defined only within the Infinity Forms table. They are not yet part of a data model. If you want this data to be used in other parts within your ClickSense, you need to load the data from this data storage to a ClickSense application as you do with any other data source. And this is the way how it was done up to now. I will add a new measure here, so I'm going to the expression editor and when I start typing forms, three new functions have been added during the installation of Infinity Forms 8.0. Forms read is the function that's supposed to be used in this expression editor, so that means in the front end. Forms read table as well as forms write are developed to be used in the click script. Those two will be the main topic of the next Tech Tuesday video. In this one, let me show you how Forms read works. As you can see, it has four different parameters. Form instance ID, dimension key, column name, and something called cache refresh expression. Let me try to do it this way so you can see it on both uh, windows. Ah, okay, great. It works. So the first one is the form instance ID. Form instance ID is a unique identifier of a data storage when you use Infinity Forms the writeback extension. It can be found in a properties panel of the writeback table object in the form configuration section. And here is the form instance ID, so I just simply 
copy and paste it. The second parameter is dimension key. It's the field from a data model that's used as a dimension in the writeback table. And it's also a link between data from a data model and data that's stored via the writeback table. In this case, it's ticket ID. Since it comes from a data model, I don't need to use a single quote. Column name is the name of the editable field that's not yet in a data model and I want to use. Let's say right now I'm interested in priority. Since this field is not yet in a data model, I will edit between single quotes. And the fourth parameter, this cache refresh, is something that enables us to trigger a refresh of this object without any change on this sheet. Let's try to enter just a zero there. What will happen? Right now, I can see that in this new field, in this new measure I have created, I see the number of stars. However, when I update it for ticket number 4 and save the data. It's not updated because this object hasn't been refreshed. Once I do any change within this app, the object is refreshed. So the data is saved without any reload of the app. And during this click native table refreshing time, this forms read function is re-evaluated. Therefore, it shows me the latest value. However, I don't want to do all these changes, all the filters and selections only because I want to see updated data here. And that's exactly what this fourth parameter inside forms read function is for. Let's create a new variable that will be called uh, refresh and equals to zero. Within my infinity forms object in form configuration section, I will open this hidden place of advanced settings and enter name of this variable right here. What's the last thing I need to do is naturally to change the fourth parameter inside the forms read function. When I do any changes now, this field is re-evaluated automatically because my variable refresh is changing on the fly. Let me show you one more application in this video. And that's the app where I have millions of data in my data model. I don't want to wait for minutes to see the impact of changed target here. When I change the target, I want to just click the save button and see the change here. Why to reload all this data if it's not necessary? And that's exactly what is working now. I can do my changes and when I click the save button, no reload is triggered. And my manual inputs are visualized here in click native objects. Very quickly, let me show you how it's done technically so you can get inspired. In this bar chart, I use this uh, forms read function for the target definition. 
So this is my form instance ID, dimension key, column name and version in a different form. In the table structure, I use this um, forms read function three times for uh, yeah for the status definition within pick match function. <laughs> so it works this way as well. In importance function, to visualize number of stars that are in a data storage and uh, inside a different function to see me whether the campaign has been finished. And to refresh the pie chart takes longer because the result of forms read function is used for calculating the angle within the pie chart. But still, it's a second. Thank you very much for watching this video about server-side extension capabilities within Infinity Forms that's used for front-end visualizations. In the next video, I will go through functions that has been added to be used within the Click script. Until the next video, enjoy Forms!